So, back in the annals of time, one Neil Collins reviewed the Boyer PM500, and he liked it. The video got lots of views on his channel, and continues to do so this very day. One can only wonder if Neil has a love for good audio. So when Boyer contacted him to say they were sending him a wireless version, he ripped the USB version clean out of his Mac. No microphones were harmed in the filming of this video. So all the audio that you hear in this video from now until the end of the video is going to be the Boyer BY PM 500W. See what they've done there? They've put a W on the end so that you know that it's the wireless version. Clever. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to test this mic out and if it's any good, I'm going to give away my PM500, the wired version. Now, unfortunately, the giveaway is only going to be open to people in the UK. Soz. Spiffing. Because of postage and stuff. But if you are in the UK and you do want this, stick around to the end and I'll let you know how you can enter the giveaway. This is a great little mic in its own right, so be a nice little addition to your studio because I don't really need this one and this one. If this one does the same job as that one and sounds the same but is wireless, then I'm going to keep this one. But if it's rubbish, I'm keeping this, so I won't give it away at all. So you have to wait around, see how we go with this one. I'll let you know at the end of the video. In this video, I'm not going to go too much into the specs because I've already done it for the PM500, but I'm going to read off the box a few little bits and pieces that you might find useful. But while I read off the box, I'm going to put some specs up here just so you can have a quick look. Any of you audiophobes, it's all there for you. So on the box, it does say it's suitable for gamers, streamers, and podcasters. I'm not really any of those, so that's the end of the video, I guess. But I'm gonna add YouTubers to who this mic is also aimed at. Obviously, if it sounds good and works well, then it's gonna be a nice addition to a YouTube studio. So the mic has two polar patterns, cardioid and omnidirectional. Now I would always keep it in cardioid to see no real reason to use the omnidirectional polar pattern, but should you want to use it, there's a little button on the front of the microphone that you press and now it's omnidirectional. So the audio should have gone a little bit rubbish because it's picking up the audio from the whole room and Theoretically, I can speak into any side of this now. Look, this is the back and you should still be able to hear me okay. And this is the front again. And now we'll switch it back to cardioid. And that's back to cardioid, which is what I would keep it on. So you have the omnidirectional option, should you want it or need it. It's also got a headphone jack on the bottom of the microphone, should you want to monitor your audio direct from the microphone. Personally, I like to monitor my audio direct from the software that I'm recording to, just so that I can check my gain levels and that it's not clipping. So I would always monitor via the software I'm recording into. But if you did want to check the mic was working and what it sounds like, then you can just plug directly into the microphone. So this knob on the front is multifunctional. At the moment, the LED is blue, which means if you twist the knob, then if you're monitoring via the headphones, that will adjust the volume of the headphones. If you press and hold that knob, it will then go purple, and then you're changing the gain of the microphone, so the volume of the microphone going into your software, okay? The gain level on this microphone isn't amazing, so even at full gain, there's not a massive amount going in to the software, just about enough. I would prefer a little bit more gain on the microphone, but it's not a deal breaker. There's still just enough gain going in to not really have to adjust anything on the software itself. It'd be nice to have 6 dB or so more gain on the actual microphone. And then if you press the button, again, don't have to hold it, just press the button, it goes red, it means the microphone's muted. So that's good. If you're doing podcasts or Zoom calls or anything like that where you want to mute yourself, just press that button, it'll go red, and your microphone is muted. All right, Bob, yeah, yeah. Well, that's great to hear from you too, my friend. That Bob's a right twat. Press it again, and it'll unmute the microphone. Now, there is also a headphone jack on the actual wireless hub itself. That's another way that you can monitor the audio directly from the wireless hub going into your Mac or PC. Now, the wireless hub 
it's fairly straightforward. It's got a flashing blue light when it's looking for the microphone and when the mic's connected, the light goes constant blue. To connect the microphone, you just press and hold the little button on the bottom. You'll see the four lights go up, depending on how much power the microphone's got. And you'll know that it's connected to the wireless hub. It's as easy as that. There's also a little switch on the wireless hub to switch between mono and stereo. So I always like to record my audio in mono because it's usually vocal audio and I don't want too much spread, but you've got the option to record in mono or stereo. So remember, I may be giving away my wire version at the end of this video. It's looking good so far. So remember, if you're in the UK, splendid. Stick around. But if you're in it anywhere else in the world, stick around till the end as well. Something could still go wrong. I forgot to say, it does come with this little stand, which I've taken off just for the purpose of this video, but it does come with this sturdy metal stand. So if you just want it rested on your desktop as such, then, then yeah, it's got this nice sturdy metal base stand. So what do I think about this mic? I really like it. I really like the wired version anyway, but obviously the audio quality, I'm still gonna like because it's the same. Do desktop mics, need to be wireless well no and to some extent i think it's not really necessary and when boyer said we're going to send you a wireless desktop microphone i thought okay that's pretty cool but yeah pretty unnecessary bearing in mind that most youtube studios gamers streamers they have permanent setups so having something plugged in isn't something you really need to fix but just using this wireless microphone today, I've really enjoyed it. Not having the cables makes it nice and tidy. As you can see, there's no cables running up this arm. Keeps it nice and tidy and professional. And it's just quite freeing. I mean, look, I'm down here. I'm down by the fish tank, see? I can just go wherever I want. I'm at the back of the room, see? I can stand here if I want. So yeah, I can just wander around the house. It's just quite a freeing experience. What I'm trying to say, it's just nice not having cables running everywhere. There's just something about it that's clean and I just, I've just enjoyed the experience of this wireless microphone. And if you don't like the wireless aspect of it, you can still just plug it straight into your Mac or PC, just like the PM500. So you're not losing anything by having the wireless version. You've just got the wireless option. It's a win-win, in my opinion. You're basically getting the wireless option for free, so why not? Wireless not. Don't know if that works. So the actual wireless connection between the hub and the mic, seamless, plug that in, press that button, connect it straight away. So they are paired out of the box, but if there is any pairing problems, there's a little button that you can pair them up, but you should find that they're paired straight out of the box. In terms of latency, I haven't noticed any difference to any other USB mic that I've plugged into my software, so. I haven't gone far with the microphone, but why would you? It's not like you're gonna plug it into your computer and then wander off. You're gonna be in the same room as it, is what I'm saying, so the wireless connection hasn't gotta go far. In terms of the audio quality, it's okay. It's not amazing, but it's pretty decent, especially for a microphone in this price range. Now the price is around $99, £99-ish equivalent. Fairly low price and similar to similar mics in this price range. This one's got the added bonus of being wireless. So if you're balancing it up against other similar microphones, then that may well swing it for you. Now I would recommend you get a pop shield with this microphone. If you haven't got a pop shield, it's a little bit poppy. So pick up a penguin, pick up a penguin. It's a bit poppy. Pick up a penguin, that should make it a little bit better. But obviously if you're using a desk stand, it's a bit cumbersome with the pop shield. So just want to distance yourself a little bit from the microphone. But remember the further away you go from the microphone, the worse the audio will get. So you want to be fairly close to get the best audio. So I would say if you are a streamer, gamer, podcaster, and YouTuber, I've added you to the list, then yeah, I'd definitely check this mic out. $99, pounds, wireless. Don't have to have a wireless microphone, but why not? If it's of a similar price to microphones that aren't wireless, then it's a bit gimmicky, but like I said, I found it quite freeing. You might want to try it out. Having no wires is, is quite nice. So I would recommend it if you're looking for something in that price range, yes. So as I do like it, I'm keeping it. Spiffing. So, someone can have this one. It's been well loved. I've looked after it, but now I think it's time 
goes to a new home. But yeah, like I said, sorry guys, but only if you're in the UK. Tell me why you want it in the comments and I'll pick a random winner to send this to by the end of the month, February. So that's the end of this review. If you have enjoyed it, then yeah, please do give it a thumbs up. Like I said, it does shoot me up the old algorithm and people who may find this video useful can find it. Plus, you know, I like to get likes like everyone else. It makes me feel good about myself. It'll make you feel good about yourself. I think we'll all have better days if you hit the like button. But if you just think I'm being annoying, then you can hit the dislike button. But I think that does still push me up the algorithm. So try it out. Please do consider subscribing to my channel. Channel's going nicely, but it's always nice to have new faces on board, which could be yours if you hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. That's it for this one. Go and check out my review on the other one. If you want me to go into more detail on specs and audio and stuff. Other than that, have a good week. Catch you in the next video.